Hey there. Because there are so many Facebook groups out there and they are so easy to join, you want to make sure that as soon as you're, you welcome your new member, you completely blow them away in some fashion the minute that they come into your group. So in this video, we're going to talk about ways to wow with your welcome, specifically creating your onboarding process, creating a dossier, and creating a personal welcome video. Now, the first thing that you wanna do is create a welcome process. Once you figure out what your process is gonna be, I highly recommend writing it down. When you write it down, it becomes much easier to stick with and it's also gonna serve as a guide for your current or your future VA who can help you a lot with this. First, what will be your criteria for letting people into the group? gender, age of their Facebook profile, or the way they answer your three questions. So once you decide to let people into your group, I recommend taking a screenshot of the person's application. Unfortunately, Facebook doesn't currently give us a way to save this information. So for now, this is really the only way to do it is manually. Create a folder on your desktop for these screenshots. Uh, on your phone, a lot of times I'll screenshot on my phone. You can email those screenshots to yourself or save them to a folder in the cloud. I actually send them to my support email and that way my VA gets each of the screenshots. And then what she does is she inputs the all the information from the screenshot into a spreadsheet, which I'll show you now. So here's the spreadsheet. I literally have hundreds and hundreds of entries here. And for every single person that's accepted into the group, I know their name, why they wanted to join. They've t they're telling me about their business and they're also letting me know how they heard about the group. The other thing that I do is I take those screenshots and every time I get 100, I upload them to an app called Groovebook. It's $3.99 a month, including the shipping. And they're these fat little books. They look like this. They're the exact size of a photo. And I just like having that physical, tangible book. I call it my dossier. And I'm able to flip through and learn uh, you know, that's like enjoyable reading for me. I can flip through and really feel like I am getting to know the members of my group on a deeper level. Now, I'm going to come back to the dossier uh, in a moment. And you might be saying to yourself right now, wow, that's a lot of work. And you can absolutely have a great group and not do a dossier or do the spreadsheet. But this is, again, what separates the good groups from the great groups it you're it's more work but you're also going to see more results i promise you nobody else is doing this and your the people in your group will soon come to understand that you know them in a way that nobody else knows them in the other facebook groups the countless facebook groups that they have joined now, you might want to consider letting people in the group in groups of three or five or ten. If your group is new, it's just nice to generate excitement and buzz. So if you're letting several people in at once rather than just by one by one, it really gives the impression that, wow, this is the place to be. Or you can choose certain days of the week when you let members in. This also allows you to control the flow of onboarding. Once your members are in the group, it's time to blow their minds with your magic. Okay, so I'm actually going to go through a real process of admitting people into my group and welcoming them, and we're going to do that right now. So the first thing that I'm going to do is evaluate these five people who are waiting to come in. Um, the first person down at the bottom, I know immediately that I am going to approve her membership. Um, she's female and her answers are exactly what I wanna see. Uh, she wants to join because she likes my flash briefings, she owns an accounting firm, and she heard about the group from the flash briefings. I can also look and see the Facebook groups we have in common and the other Facebook groups that she's a member of. So um, I have learned a lot about her. She's the perfect person for my group. So I'm going to click, and I've already taken screenshots, so I'm gonna, click approve. 
Uh, David did not answer questions, and he has a very pretty new um, Facebook profile. Like, his Facebook account is pretty new, 2018, and I don't know that he's not my ideal client. He didn't answer the question, so I'm going to decline. Um, this person, um, she was told it was a good group to join recruiting friend. So she's actually, she would actually, she's not perfect uh, because she really didn't, she didn't put a lot of effort into answering this question, but I'm not going to give up on her. I'm going to look at, um, who, what other groups that she's in and that checks out. Okay. So I'm going to give her the benefit of the, the, the doubt. I am going to take a screenshot. I'm on a Mac. So to take a screenshot, I'm going to click the command, the shift and the number four button. And I'm just going to drag my cursor. And that's done. Now I'm going to approve her membership. Uh, Harry is in New Delhi, India, or sorry, Delhi, India. And he hasn't answered the questions and I am going to decline. And uh, this person, we're going to see, we have a mutual friend. Two of her friends are in the group. So that's always, um, that's always a good sign. And we're in some of the same groups together. And based on everything that she says, she's also a good fit. So I am going to screenshot and click approve. All right, so now that she's, all, I welcome all these people into the group. I'm going to click on discussion. And you're going to notice here on the right, it tells me you have five new members this week. Write a post to welcome them. So I'm going to click write post. And it automatically tags those new members, which is so handy. Now, I'm not going to do anything fancy right here. But I want you to know that I think that the more customized you can make this the better so I think if you were to do a video just do a quick live stream and welcome um, all these people by name I think that would be super powerful for now I'm not going to do that I'm just going to tag them and I'm going to say let's welcome our new front row members and click post I'm going to go to my, our pinned post, which is the welcome video that I have for the group. And in the comments, I am going to tag those new people here because if they're on mobile, when they join the group, they are not going to see your pinned post. And this is the place where I really want them to start is with this pinned post and this welcome video. Okay, so I just um, made sure to tag each of those people underneath the welcome video. The next step that I'm going to show you is truly special sauce. And this is going to blow your members away. So what you're looking at right now, we are in the back end of a free tool that I use called Loom. Loom Video, and you can get there. I'll link down below this. And it allows you to record video of just yourself, yourself and your screen or just your screen. You can see you are alerted when somebody views your video and people can communicate with you from inside the video. You can also create folders. So you'll notice this folder here says, welcome to the front row. We're going to look at this video. So you can see my head is down here in the lower left hand corner. So I'm talking and I'm looking at Michelle, but what I'm doing is I'm just saying a few words about her business. And it's probably, you can see it's only three minutes long, but what you can do in this video is to give them maybe an overview of the theme days that you have in the group. Say, hey, just wanted to let you know, today is Wednesday, that's Feedback Wednesday, when people can get advice on their sales pages, landing pages, anything at all, so make sure and jump in. I also will show them the goodies in the file section, just give them a little bit of a tour. And if it's applicable, I might connect them with someone else in the group. Like if I see they have a business that they're just starting in the teaching field, then I might say, hey, you know what? Um, I noticed that you're into early education, uh, early, early childhood education, and 
I want you to look at front row member Gloria's website, and I bet she'd be happy to talk to you. You guys have a lot in common. So now what I've done is I've welcomed her. I've shown her that I care about her business. I care about getting to know her business. I've given her some value of some sort usually. I just will give a tip or just say, hey, did you know you could do this? Something like that. Give her a quick overview of the group, and then I have connected her with someone. And by doing that, I have I have just created community in a very real sense. Once I'm done with my video, there's so many different things I can do. Usually I will just copy the link right here and send that to the person via Messenger. If I happen to have their email address, I might email that, email that to them as well. Now remember, if we're not friends on Messenger, if I'm not friends with this person, and most of the time I'm not, the message might, go, might get filtered and they might not see it. So, or they might see it and ignore it because they don't know who I am. So then what I might do is just message them or tag them in the group and say, hey, Michelle, I sent you a DM. And just to make sure that she sees the video. This is also a good time to mention that this is where your dossier comes in very, very handy. Because whatever you can't glean from their Facebook page, because sometimes the people who join my group actually don't have a lot of information on their Facebook page, or they haven't given me a website, or I can't find information. So that's when I can go and uh, look at that dossier and learn more about them and really connect the dots. And it never fails to really um, impress people. And I always get great feedback from this. Finally, I would just say that you might want to think about once your group starts to grow, create sort of an unofficial welcoming committee uh, of people who are like your your most active people in your Facebook group. So this sort of happened for me, lucky for me, very organically. And in fact, as I was recording this video and after I just did this um, example for you where we welcomed these five members, Adam, who has been in my group since day one, uh, popped in. Hello, everyone. Welcome. So glad you're here. Um, this is an amazing community of wonderful people. I look forward to, forward to getting to know all of you. I actually never asked Adam to do this, but one day he did this, and I commented and said, all right, Adam, you are the our unofficial official welcome committee. And now he just takes it upon himself every time. I welcome people to the group. He ch chimes in to welcome. And then other people who are members of the group just take it upon themselves. They get alerted that somebody posted and they come in and they welcome as well. So it's really a wonderful thing. And people really don't mind doing it. Your people who are very invested in your group are really happy to do this for you. So think, you, think about doing that as well. So in review, we talked about creating your onboarding process, creating a dossier, and creating a personal video welcome. I'll see you in the next video.